Hello smart civil engineer. I am engineer Masroor and you are watching Engineering Network YouTube channel. I am back with another important topic. So in today's video lecture, our topic is difference between grades of concrete and classes of concrete. Right? Now in this video, I will teach you that why grades of concrete are different from classes of concrete and where grades of concrete are used and where classes of concrete are used in the practical field of civil engineering. Okay? So I request you that please watch this video completely so that you have a clear idea about the main difference between grades of concrete and classes of concrete. Now before I start this video, if you find this video informative, then please click on the like button share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos so let's start okay so our topic is difference between grades of concrete and classes of concrete now i have already uploaded separate videos on both grades of concrete and classes of concrete so if you want to learn about both of these in detail, then kindly go to my YouTube channel and watch both videos. Now we have two terms for our today video lecture. One is grades of concrete and second is classes of concrete. Now speaking of the grades of concrete, the concrete is basically divided or classified into number of different grades which starts from in 5 grade concrete to in 70 grade concrete, right? And these grades of concrete are created based on the minimum compressive strength of concrete after 28 days of construction, okay? For example, in M20 grade concrete, the numerical value which is 20 is basically the minimum compressive strength of M20 grade concrete in Newton per millimeter square or mega pascal. Okay? Similarly, for M15 grade concrete, the minimum compressive strength of concrete is 15 Newton per millimeter square or 15 mega pascal. Right? And apart from that, the grades of concrete will give you the mix ratios or mix proportions of different concrete grades which are used in the practical field of civil engineering. Like the mix ratio of M20 grade concrete is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 in which one part is cement, 1.5 parts is sand and 3 parts are coarse aggregate. Okay? So basically grades of concrete will give you the minimum compressive strength of concrete and mix ratios of concrete. And also the grades of concrete are mostly used in the laboratory tests where our main concern is to achieve the compressive strength of concrete. Right? But it doesn't mean that we cannot use it in the practical field of civil engineering. Okay? Like M20 grade concrete are mostly used for the beams and slabs. So you can use grades of concrete in both laboratory tests and in the practical field of civil engineering. Now it basically means that apart from compressive strength of concrete and mix ratios of concrete, the grades of concrete will not provide you anything else like what is the water cement ratio of a particular concrete sample, what are the slump values of a particular concrete, how much, how much cement will be required in a particular concrete sample, and what are the maximum size of core segregate, right? So in grades of concrete, you will not get any information about these things. Now speaking about the slump value, water cement ratio, quantity of cement, and the maximum size of core segregate in a concrete sample, the concrete is divided or classified into six classes, which is class A, class B, class C, class D, class Y, and lean concrete. Okay? 
Also, class A concrete is further divided into three more classes, like class A1, class A2, and class A3 concrete. And also, class D concrete is further divided into three more classes, like class D1, class D2, and class D3 concrete. Right? Now, the question is, why classes of concrete are different from grades of concrete? Okay? Now, in grades of concrete, you will get the minimum compressor strength of concrete and mix ratios of different concrete samples. Right? But you will not get any information about what is the maximum size of core segregate used in the concrete. What is the water cement ratio? What is the slump value? Okay? So you will not get anything about these information in grades of concrete. But in classes of concrete, you will get all these information in detail. Which means that the classes of concrete will give you the detailed information about a specific concrete sample. Okay? Like in class B concrete, the quantity of cement required in 1 cubic meter of class B concrete is 250 kg, which is equal to 5 cement bags. The maximum size of coarse aggregate in class B concrete is 51 mm. The minimum compressor strength of class B concrete is 170 kg per centimeter square. The slump value of class B concrete is 25 to 75 millimeter. And the water cement ratio of class B concrete is 0.65. Okay? And also class B concrete is used on the specification of engineer. Which means that if engineer or designer specify that the class B concrete will be used for a particular concrete member, then only you can use class B concrete. Otherwise, you cannot use class B concrete. Okay? So, as you can see, the classes of concrete will provide you the complete information about a specific concrete sample. Right? Also, classes of concrete are mostly used in the practical field of civil engineering, like in building construction and in road construction work. Now, which one is best to use in the practical field of civil engineering? Either we use grades of concrete or classes of concrete. Well, I think you can use both grades of concrete and classes of concrete. But if you want to study a particular concrete sample in detail, then classes of concrete will definitely help you a lot. Apart from that, you can follow both grades of concrete and classes of concrete. Okay? So the main difference between grades of concrete and classes of concrete is the grades of concrete are designed or made based on the compressive strength of concrete and mix ratios of concrete. While in classes of concrete, you will get the detailed information about a specific concrete sample. Okay? So I hope you would find this video interesting. Now before I end this video, I have only one request from you guys. If you find this video informative, then please click on the like button. Share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.